Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphen here, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to save presets on your captions or subtitles in DaVinci Resolve. So here I have this vertical video that I'm gonna use for social media from my podcast, and I've already added the captions as well as adjusted the font, size, stroke, pretty much the way I want it to look. So if we select one or all of the subtitles, and then we go here to Video tab, and then Track, this is where you can change your style, stroke, transform, drop shadow, background, etc. Once you've made your adjustments, if you want to save this as a preset so you can apply this to other captions on other projects, then all you have to do is have one or all of these selected from one subtitle track. So for me, I'm using subtitle one. Go up here to the right, the little three dots options, click on that, and then you can click on save track as preset. You can also import presets. Now, if you have multiple subtitle tracks and they each have different looks, just make sure that you've selected the subtitle with the track that you want to save a preset from. So I'm going to click Save Track as Preset, and I'm going to call this Podcast Captions. Press OK. All right, so here I've opened up a new project with no subtitles. We're going to click on Timeline, Create Subtitles from Audio. I'm going to leave the default settings, press Create. And now you can see we have the default subtitles. So all we got to do is select them all here in the Inspector. Go to the top right corner, the Options button, and you'll already see I have my preset, Podcast Captions. You can either load the preset. If you made changes, you can update the preset. You can export it or delete it. We're going to click Load. And literally, with one click, it's all exactly how I want it to be, with every single parameter exactly as I had saved it. So there you have it. That's how simple it is to save presets in your captions or subtitles in DaVinci Resolve. Now on this channel, I do have a DaVinci Resolve playlist with a lot more tutorials, so go ahead and make sure to check that out. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.